Dinosaurs are usually known for conquering the land masses of the Mesozoic. However, there is one group in particular that could make a case for being apex predators in two domains at once. The Spinosaurids. Jurassic and Cretaceous Europe used to be a collection of islands where sea levels were about 200 meters or 660 feet higher than in today's day and age, allowing for a number of Cretaceous river monsters in the Spinosauridae family. Baryonyx comes to mind when talking about the biggest official member in Europe, but in reality it's an even bigger killer. The United Kingdom and Iberian Peninsula were the two hotspots for big spinosaurids in Cretaceous Europe. The biggest of the official spinosaurids is the Iberospinus. The Iberian spine or Iberospinus natarioi was named in 2022 by Mateus and Estrovis Lopez. Shoutouts to Carlos Natario, who found Iberospinus bones and is rightfully contained in Iberospinus species name Natarioi. In the past, Iberospinus has been misclassified as a subspecies of Baryonyx, but is now considered a Spinosaurid. Upper estimates are around 10.1 meters, or 33 feet, and a weight of 3 metric tons, making it the biggest official Spinosaurid in Europe. However, it is important to note that you can't call it the biggest of all Spinosauroids in Europe, because Spinosauridea, also called Megalosauridea, also contains the genus Torvosaurus, which is a lot bigger than Iberospinus. I don't know what the guy smoked that put Megalosauridae and Spinosauridae in one supergroup, but it must have been something good. There is also another Spinosaurid from Europe, named the White Rock Spinosaurid or Vectispinus, which is probably a lot bigger than even Iberospinus, potentially even a megatheropod, which is a theropod with 5 metric tons or more in weight. Anyways, Iberospinus itself lived in Iberia, namely in Portugal's Paposeco formation about 125 million years ago. Spinosaurids were fish eaters that were similarly well adapted with their teeth as Agarial is today. Spinosaurids are also believed to have been better adapted to a semi-aquatic lifestyle than Baryonyx and his group, meaning Iberospinus would have outperformed the fellow Baronychinines. The most famous Spinosaurid, which is Spinosaurus, does have a pressure-sensitive snout for hunting fish. Chances are that because of Iberospinus's evolutionary relationships, the snout would have been better adapted than the snout of Baryonyx, especially for hunting on the water's edge. Iberospinus's environment, Portugal's Papo Seco formation, mirrors a perfect environment for piscivores. But Spinosaurs have also been found to be a fan of meat, with gut content of pterosaurs in Spinosaurids and an iguanodontid in Baryonyx stomach. This begs the question, which walks of life did the Papo Seco formation house, and moreover, what animals are on Iberospinus menu, or is Iberospinus on the menu itself? Well. The Lower Cretaceous Portuguese formation does include Iberospinus natarioi, the Baryonychinine Sucosaurus girardi, an indeterminate potential allosauroid named Erectopus. Wait a minute, isn't that an erect octopus? Anyways, there is another indeterminate dromaeosaurid, titanosauriform, as well as another completely unidentified theropod, and some ornithischians including an indeterminate ornithopod and iguanodont, among others. Honestly, we can only hope more of the formations by Leofauna will be described and or attributed to some existing genera. What we do probably know or at least imagine is that Iberospinus is the apex predator here, judging by pure size, but how did it hunt? Hunting tactics for Iberospinus could be a wading ambush predator standing on the edge of the water, almost heron-esque. Secondly, there is the possibility that Iberospinus is also a fully aquatic pursuit predator which I personally always find to be a wild assumption by Spinosaur enthusiasts, but it's definitely terrifying imagining being chased by a three-ton hybrid of an alligator and a Torvosaurus. This might genuinely be what happened too. Think about it. A croc and a megalosaurid making love, and the megalosaurid didn't know what to do, so he thought, if in doubt, shoot it out. 
the evolution of Spinosaurids really is wilder than a P. Diddy party. There is no other explanation for them being classified in the superfamily Megalosauroidea. At least Megaraptor, with his half-decent humor, can't think of any other. That's it for this video. Smash the thumbs up, the bell and the subscribe, as only legends do that and I know you all are. Also check out Instagram for fitness motivation and inspiration, as I'm on a mission to help more people get fit. Furthermore, you can also check out Twitter to hear my thoughts on all kinds of dinosaur stuff. And with that, I wish you a splendid day or evening. Goodbye.